Hey everyone, welcome to the video on the how to learn SQL properly, right? It is one of the most uh, important programming language that anyone, for example, if you are a software developer, tester, fresher, uh, you should know because it will help you to uh, do what we call manipulation of data in mostly the databases, right? So when I have started, right, uh, basically I started with MySQL only, which is relational database language where you can learn, right? In this video, I'm going to discuss about how you can learn it properly in a very less time because the point here is that it is we know that it is super super important for all of us right but how to learn it properly and what are the different things that you should know right in this video i'm going to discuss about it okay let's get started with the first one tip number one is basically start with the basics basics you have to basically learn about it right you can get the basics from the w3 schools it's an amazing website where you can get the basics related to it especially the relational database right because uh, the SQL, right, the syntax is very, very simple that you should basically be doing. But the point here is, which is tip number two, that you should be doing practical example with real world, right? This is what I have done because right now what happens is we generally do some dummy project, which is basically creating some dummy database. We generally run some queries and all, and that's we think that, okay, this is done. No, what, you, what I generally recommend to all of my students is to do some, some kind of project. For example, it can be a CRM project, which is customer relational management. Right? You can say whenever you buy something from Amazon, right? You do orders, you have product listing and other things, right? This is what exactly you have to do properly. That's how, that's how you will understand SQL more and more. The more you will do the practice, the more you will understand. Now, many students ask this question, okay, Pramod, how much time it will take to learn SQL? I think, especially if uh, you are a beginner or somewhere, right? I think around one week, it is super, super easy. You can easily learn in one week. If you are giving, I think, one hour or two hours per day. This is what I have seen. I have taught SQL multiple times to many, many students by using masterclass. In the end, you will find the link also. That way, we are basically, we have done two or three projects. Guys, projects are very, very important whenever you are doing a MySQL or SQL training. Important point is because whenever you see some dummy commands, you say, okay, I know this command, but when you try to run it into a their editor somewhere, right, then it is very, very difficult. So you should know the syntax. You should know how to basically fetch the manipulate the data, right? Uh, all the SQL queries and all. This is very, very important. Now let's come to the tip number three. I go with the database management system. For example, right now I'm discussing about MySQL, which is I think the basics one. Everyone should start with MySQL. Most of the other database that you see, right, Postgres and other things, right? They are very similar, only the few syntax changes, right? Now, whenever you are learning SQL, right, please make sure after projects, first of all, you need topics. Topics I am going to show you, right? Second important point is a project. Third important point is you should do certain kind of practice and mock interviews, which is very, very important. Like if, even if you can't do mock interviews, you have to do a uh, practice of interview questions because lots of time people ask this question. Okay. What is null value? How to get a second salary? How to get this, right? What exactly is joins and other things and all. So make sure topic wise, I know you are good. You can figure it out over YouTube. There are thousands of channels on YouTube, which can basically give you the topics, but very, very few channels, which will give you the projects, interview question and answer, which are very important, right? So there are three core pillar to learn the SQL. I hope now you agree, right? Now the tip number four is basically now you can learn the uh, SQL directly from online, right? Which is very, very easy. You can find lots of tutorial. For example, generally how I have started with W3 schools is amazing, right? I'm going to put a link below. You can check it out. Second one is Code Academy. Code Academy SQL is I think free of course. You can try out, right? Udemy courses. I think those are cheap courses uh, with lots of value. But the point where the Udemy is that whenever even I buy certain kind of Udemy courses, right? I never watch second video of that. Let me know in the comment also if you are like me, where you generally don't watch like second or third video after Udemy courses. The reason is very simple. They are very too, very, very lengthy and they are not interactive in nature. That's what I have seen. And they are not much project driven. This is what my belief is. I don't know if you agree with this point or not, right? But still people are enjoying on this, right? Another point is, uh, fifth point, I think jo you, should, you should join certain kind of community of SQL, right? There are multiple online communities that are available, right? Uh, I will try to put some link. Be part of that community where you will be basically helping them. There are lots of people. There are lots of Telegram groups are there where people are learning about SQL. So you, you can be part of them, right? That's what we are it is important. And the last thing is that uh, basically I have a course which is almost like five hours of course of masterclass. Generally, I call this masterclass, which is two day workshop. Mostly I do, right? You can watch it if you want to, right? The link present in the description. It's a very small fees that I have added. The reason is because when you pay, you pay attention. That's the important thing I have added. There's a 10% discount also with the coupon SQ 
useful thing that you can give it a try uh, that class i have basically discussed with my paid members also i got an amazing amazing response i would suggest you if you want to refresh you want to do projects you want to see important interview questions go do do try out the learn sql course from zero to hero in almost like 2 hours or 3 hours somewhere right you can finish that course definitely in one, one week and you should have a a basic understanding as well as interview question and you're ready with the product that's what i believe in this case. okay thanks a lot for watching i hope this video helps if you want more videos related to sql and now let me know in the comment in uh, just type part two and if you have any queries okay how to learn sql what are the topics are there what is the roadmap and other things let me know in the comments i will definitely going to reply all right i'll see you in the next video bye bye